On June 19, 1865, enslaved black people in Texas were informed by federal troops that they had been freed. Since 1866, Juneteenth has been celebrated around the state in cities like Galveston, Houston, and Fort Worth. Now as a national holiday, its significance is greater than ever. Henderson Pa Perkins' story, like many of those around him, might have been lost to history. But this Juneteenth, parts of it come back into the light. Perkins was born on May 9, 1838 in Nashville, Tennessee. Soon after, slaveholders brought him to Centerville in eastern central Texas. Sometime prior to the Civil War, Perkins and his mother were enslaved there by Tom Garner, a relative of John Nance Garner, the 32nd Vice President of the United States. At the end of the war, Perkins first tasted freedom, but for a while at least, he continued to work at the Garners at their tavern. I likes my freedom. Perkins told federal writers of the Slave Narrative Project, When Weans is free, Weans goes anywhere we wants to. With that freedom, Perkins toiled first on farms around Centerville and Waco, eventually ending up at 610 Penn Street in Fort Worth, at a time, he said, when horses and mules were pulling streetcars around. In 1936, a newspaper article recounted how Perkins, then in his 90s, attempted to meet with the vice president when Cactus Jack visited the city. He didn't succeed. In 1939, Perkins was cited as one of six black voters to cast a ballot in a Tarrant County election. By the 1950s, Perkins had moved to the Lake Como area. Another article in December 1952 noted his amazing history and eager anticipation of Christmas dinner. Three months later, Henderson Perkins passed away at the old Dorsey Hospital in Fort Worth. 